there weavers, welcome back. I'm Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. Today I'm going to be weaving uh, another version of the Fishing for Compliments uh, hand towels. And the previous video I did them in a white background. And so my last video I tied on a dark blue warp to the old white warp and uh, wound that on. So we are ready to weave now. So let's get started. Here we have the new warp set up and I am just going to spread the warp with some scrap yarn. This is just a four ply cotton that I had left over from another project. So. I like to lay in a couple, two or three picks. Let's see if I can get one more in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I lay the picks in. Uh, three picks. The bottom one is straight-ish. The second one is at an angle and the third one is kind of straight-ish Be and not be in between them. What this will do is it will force all of the uh, bouts that I've tied on together more quickly. So let's and then just pull it down. And there we have almost a perfect um, distribution. I think I'll go ahead and lay one more in to get me back to my shed. And then we'll let that tail off there. The set on this pattern is 20 ends per inch. They are threaded two per dent in a 10 dent reed. And there are two colors. There's a dark blue and a light blue threaded through each dent in the reed. And then we'll be weaving with the dark blue in the weft. So right now I am going to do my hem allowance. A bit of a tangle here so I'm going to stop and fix that. So evidently this came off. Let's see if we can, oh, it came off the end. So evidently when I wound this bobbin I went too close to the end. And hopefully I can wind 
this on That is going to be a mess. Well, let's see what we can do. this is going to be an issue. All right. Sadly, I am going to have to break this. And then hopefully it will stay in there. And when I get to that point, I'll just have to create a splice. I've done 28 picks and I know I need to do 40 picks. 28 is two thirds of the way through the hem allowance. I need to put in my spacer waist yarn to create the fold line. So let me grab that. All right, I have this um, mercerized uh, what is this? This is 5-2 uh, yarn. I think it's cotton. Um, but it's, uh, since it's a little bit thicker and it's mercerized, it's good and strong. And it's, because it's mercerized, it's a little bit slippery. That, so I will be able to pull it out of the hem allowance when I go to sew the hem. So I'm just going to insert this and I do that by just kind of winding on my bobbin a little ways and putting it in with that pick. Now we will just weave the rest of the hem. There is the last pick of my hem. So now we're going to start on the pattern. So for this pattern, we're going to start with the uh, bright pink first. Just a reminder, this is uh, a pattern that creates a little line of fish that go across. And we use several, four different colors uh, to make four different stripes of fish. So. First pick for the border. I'm going to place that. And then because there are several 
um, color changes and I don't want to build up too much bulk I am going to uh, split the flies on the tail when I tuck it. So I pull the two plies apart. I put one of the plies back through the shed, take it around the end thread, put it back in the same shed, and bring it back. And that just keeps it from creating a lot of bulk um, when you have several shed changes. All right. When you have several color changes, you have several shed changes in weaving regardless. That is the last pick of the pink. So we'll cut that off. And tuck our tail again. <laughs> My cat is wanting in here. Boxer, what are you doing, kitty? There. All right, now there is 20, or I'm sorry, 12 picks of the dark blue in between each fish stripe. So we will go ahead and do those. There we go. Now we can start weaving the next color.
line up there. I found that I need to advance my warp after each repetition just to keep everything um, in the sweet spot. change is banana and I didn't have a bright yellow in the 8-2 cotton that I am using for this uh, but I do have a 22-2 cotton in this bright yellow so, for those of you who have asked the question, can I substitute 22-2 cotton for 8-2 cotton? Yes, you can. Absolutely. It is a tad bit thicker, but it is not noticeable. I have used it successfully um, in many projects and mixed and matched. So, the one thing that Cotillin does have, and let's see if I can get a picture of this. It does tend to be a bit, I'm not sure if fuzzier is the right word, but it's got, I don't know if it can focus on that. There. So right here you can see, basically this is, this is the linen that kind of tends to stick out sometimes. And if you get a big blob of that, just pull it off. There. So um, it does it does have that property. And so it can shed a little bit. Um, but once it gets woven in, it tends to lock it down and it's not it's not noticeable i think this yellow seems to be fuzzier than any of the other other colors that i've used i'm not sure why it's all the same brand but I really like that color on there. It just pops against the blue.
So you might have noticed me wrapping the inactive yarn around the active yarn that I'm doing if I'm not using it. And this is just to ensure that these two threads interlock when I'm carrying the inactive yarn up the side. One full repeat of four lines of fish. There are a total of four repeats plus one extra pink line of fish that make up one towel and there is enough warp on this project for five towels hopefully since I tied on and I should have very minimal waste. So let's get weaving the rest of these. Probably, um, 
I'd say the yellowfish, the pink fish, and um, up to the end of the towel took a little bit longer to, to weave just because I had to make sure that all of the threads were up. Um, once I got the knots and tails through to about the reed point, the reed would uh, help change the shed for me. We're going to go ahead and um, release the tension and then cut this off. So thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to get notifications of when I release new videos please consider subscribing and happy weaving